everyone hope you are all doing well so i just wanted to share you with a new update of my script uh, though the, it, it is not anything additional but i have managed to you know combine few features just to make it more easy so option one and two have been combined now you don't have to add the ips to the server and to the to the interface separately just with this option one uh, you can just add the ips uh, plus the addition is that you can actually add multiple uh, uh, networks at a time as you can see over here you see uh, uh, choose the number of networks according to your subnet so for example if you have slash 30 or slash 29 or slash 28 mostly mostly uh, you you may have slash 24 or 23 so if you have 24 you have one network means 255 ips and if you have slash 23 you have two networks means 512 ips uh, you know like this so if uh, if you uh, choose so say for example if you have slash 22 network so you have actually four networks so here so here you will basically start with how many networks do you have is four. So now you will start uh, uh, adding the IPs. The rest of the procedure is same as before, right? So the maximum IPs you can enter is 25. So uh, 25 for one network, right? And then you start with say 192.168.1.1. And then we go like this, and then we will ask be again, you know, so we will be asked four times to enter the separate networks. And this process is not only adding the IPs, uh, and uh, not only the adding the IPs to the server and creating proxies, rather, it is also adding the IPs to the interface so that the proxies can be accessible. So uh, then again, we say this is our second network one dot uh, sorry two dot one and then we go like this and again then uh, it will ask us uh, four times so uh, four dot uh, three dot one and then four dot one so we have four networks right so this is a major addition a major uh, change in this script right and then 192.168.4.1 so this is actually the example if i have a network with slash 22 and that means i have four networks in total so this is how we add the four networks in one go right in just one go so let's wait for it to finish and that's it okay so we have to add one more 192.168.3.1 I guess we just missed this before. Oh yes, after two we directly jumped to four, so uh, we missed this three. Okay, so this is how we can add uh, a entire subnet with this one option. And now we don't have to add the IPs to the interface separately as uh, in the previous versions of this script, right? so this is uh, this is it this is the major uh, only major change and update of this of the uh, of the script and rest of the options uh, they are almost same uh, what i have done is that i have removed a few of them like uh, there was a separate option for add single user and add bulk users so i you know skip them i combined them so uh, now this uh, this option add users to the server is up to you if you want to add just one user or if you want to use uh, add multiple users like how many users do you want to create if you want just create one that's okay if you want to create just uh, 10 that's even okay so uh, i have combined this feature with the uh, feature and the same way assign ips to users if you want to assign ip to a single user you can do that or if you want to see 
how many IP users uh, you want to assign IPs to. If you want to assign IP to one user, that's okay. And if you want to assign IPs to 10 users, even that is okay with this feature. So uh, uh, rest of the options, they are all same as uh, clearly mentioned in the previous uh, videos. All of them are same, nothing different. Just uh, this uh, additional uh, port scanning, uh, block port scanning and change SSH port. These two options, there is a video of mine uh, on my video YouTube channel that basically explains these two things separately but i have combined them with the script and it will basically do the things automatically so this is these two options change ssh port and block port scanning these are for the for making your proxy server more secure right so uh, that's it that's it for now if i have any uh, uh, more updates i'll be back to you thank you very much thank you and please subscribe my channel and also comment if you have any suggestions. I really always appreciate the suggestions. Thank you very much.